Hello and welcome to Campbell, California, Tygo's headquarters here, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley. My name is Greg Smith. I'm the technical training director for Tygo Energy, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you Tygo's Energy Intelligence Residential Storage Solution. Here it is. You don't even know how long I've been wanting to talk about this, and the day is finally here, and I'm so stoked that we have this thing mounted on the wall, ready to go, ready to shoot all kinds of videos. This first introductory video is gonna be a general overview of all the components that make up the EI solution for Tygo. And then I'll do some in-depth videos going over each of the individual pieces of equipment. So let's go. The first thing I wanna talk about is the heart of every PV system, the inverter. But this is no ordinary inverter, this is a hybrid inverter, which means it will accept a PV array and it also has an input for the EI battery, which we'll talk about here in a minute. So the inverter comes in two sizes, a 7.6 and 11.4, and it is AC or DC coupled and integrates with everything else in the system including the Tygo TS4 optimizers, which I'll talk about later. The EI battery cabinet houses three 3.3 kilowatt hour battery modules, making the entire output of a single battery cabinet 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours. Now, this is expandable with two cabinets for a total of 19.8 kilowatt hours. And it's extremely fast and it's very easy to install. Matter of fact, connecting the EI battery to the EI hybrid inverter takes only three wires, a communication wire and the battery wires, positive and negative. I'll get more into that later, but just, it's super easy to install. The next component is the gatekeeper of the entire system. It is the EI automatic transfer switch or ATS. It has a direct connection to the hybrid EI inverter, to the essential load panel, and to the grid. Now I'll get into the energy flow in some later videos, but this is one of the most important pieces of the whole setup because it is going to isolate all of the energy that we make when the grid goes down from making it into the utility grid. And last but certainly not least is the Tygo TS4 MLPE or Module Level Power Electronic. I have in my hand the TS4-A-O, you can tell by the yellow sticker on the front. And this particular model optimizes, it monitors the system down to the module level, and it also allows the PV system to comply with rapid shutdown directives. In fact, we even include the rapid shutdown initiator with the system. The really cool thing about this entire system is that everything is monitored and controlled and commissioned using our app on a single device. It's very easy to commission the system. You have 24 seven monitoring anywhere you are in the world with either cell phone or internet connection. And that's it for this general overview video of the Tygo EI, Energy Intelligence Residential Storage System. We have some more videos coming up where we will dive in deeper into each component. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you are excited as I am about this new product that we just feel is gonna be a great addition to the Tygo family of products that you're already used to using and that you love. Thank you again for watching. See you soon.